What is up guys? Welcome to episode 6 of our Japan Diary series. In this video we're going to bring you along to the rest of our time in Kyoto and I think we're up to days 12 to 15. I'm definitely losing track here. So literally day one on our trip broke the strap of my bag and almost killed a man. I'll tell you that story in another video but long story short we had to go find new bags because our bags were absolutely on their last legs. We stopped by this bakery and we fell in love with this green melon Hokkaido bread. We took our bags home, we repacked and I did a bit of work. I did work for a few hours before we're heading out to dinner. The salmon and scallop lemon cup has secret. I think we need to add some up for two though or? Maybe not. Yeah, I think we need one more. The plan was to keep things really spontaneous, go for dinner, grab some drinks, go see the sunset at the Fushimi Inari Shrine. I hope I'm saying it right, but plans changed. These are extra garlicky dumplings. Uh, I grabbed this, how you got it? Let me help you. Cheers! Ding. Good. Yeah. I'm not normally a hot pot girl, but Japan kind of got me into hot pot and Japan actually kind of got me into enjoying pork. Thanks, Japan. Welcome to the next day. Guess where we're headed? We're on our way to the bakery that we so fell in love with to try this melon Hokkaido bread again. Do yourself a favor. If you're in Kyoto, go to the station, get the bread and try it. Oh, and we've become naturals at riding the JRL station. We are pros. Today we are exploring Arashiyama, and the first stop is the Kimono Forest. Arashiyama was really cute. It kind of felt like Europe, like the buildings, the bookshops, the cafes, the flowers. I liked it. I'm trying to find bike hire at the moment. Google Translate is our best friend. Kimono Forest was cool, but I had a feeling that it'd be even cooler at night when it was lit up. Oh. By this point in our trip, I have temple fatigue and I'm like, ugh, a temple, I can't do it. But this was a garden temple. And so I did it and I loved it. It was very, very serene, very beautiful. Next stop, we headed to the bamboo forest. It was actually quite overwhelming how broad and tall and momentous the forest was. There were just rows and rows and rows of bamboo trees. It was beautiful. Yes. Oh wow, it's big! <gasps> it's cheap! I don't know if this is going to be a stage or a lifetime thing, but we love our Coke Zero. It's like our daily bread. Man, Arashiyama is beautiful, but it was very, very hot. And we were about to head to a monkey park, which required us to hike up this gorgeous little mountain to get to the top where all the monkeys are. Monkey park. This is where Jamie belongs. My favorite monkey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. So cool. Let's go to the monkey park. The monkeys were so cute, they were very, very adorable. They were definitely happy, they were definitely very comfortable in their natural environment. Can I interview my favorite monkey? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice they feel comfortable enough to come this close. Do you feel bougie? I feel like, um, I don't know what I feel like. <laughs> Does it taste good? Yes. A few moments later. Good afternoon, everyone. Currently, it is around 6 p.m. in Japan and it's 31 degrees. We're going to hike a mountain and hopefully catch the sunset. Shimi Inari Shrine. Fushimi Nari Shrine. We're gonna take that one off the bucket list. It's unreal. Are you ready? <laughs> no. You <laughs> <laughs> Dingo is wearing an apron. This is the map. We're in the middle of that red dot there. We're going to walk through a heap of Tori Gate. Are you getting a tutu? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting demolished. Before we got to the shrine, I had seen lots of photos of it and I just thought it'd be this red Tori Gate, but I was completely gobsmacked at how many Tori Gates there were. We literally walked through probably thousands. Am I being dramatic? I should probably google how many Tory gates there actually are. Hi Myla. Hi Myla. 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 Myla Rose. Hey, baby. Hello, little darling. Hi, Myla. Hi, Myla Rose. I'm happy I saw Myla and Myla's friends. I knew it would be kind of boring content, but I really felt like I should film most of the way walking through because I wanted to show you guys the extent and the breadth and the depth of this walk. I just had no idea from the photos, it just looked like it was like a few red Tory gates. This was a little bit of a strenuous walk and I think I definitely wore the wrong shoes for it. I wore my sandals instead of my sneakers and I had lots and lots of blisters after this, but it was definitely worth the hike. Looks 
so cool at night. We finally made it to the top and the view was serene. Jokes, there was actually no view, but it was serene. And we did get a beautiful view of Kyoto at dusk and also at night. So yeah, it felt really good to know that we did make it to the top. We made it to the top. Nara was cool. It wasn't my favorite part of Japan, but seeing all the deers around was cool. I'm like chicken. Hello, pretty. What are they eating? Grass. Looks like they're eating their own poo. You falling asleep? I reckon it kind of felt like Japan's equivalent of kangaroos. And deers actually look so much like kangaroos, just with a different body and with antlers. Am I right? Oh, wow! Why are you bowing, darling? You bow and you give them food. Hello, pretty. No food. Your eyelashes, right? You are literally a kangaroo. in Japan but I gotta say that I prefer just a non umami burger this was by far the hardest walk we had to do I think it wasn't like the walk in itself I think it was the fact that we walked so much yesterday and just the whole week and it was hot look it's a pine cone must be the last one of the season when we look back at the videos we're not gonna remember the heat for dinner, we headed back out to the markets in Kyoto and we had some sashimi and just went for a walk around, followed the canal and just took in the city organically. All in all, I personally loved Kyoto. There was just a lot of culture, a lot to do around. We definitely had an awesome time. Here's a little sneak peek of next week. Loving the new bags and we're saying goodbye to our Airbnb. We're on the road again. Hi, Kyoto. Chloe, you hit me in my sleep. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've made it to the end. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as I'll be posting every week. See you next time.